And hello everybody and welcome back to Wing Commander Saga! Now you may be wondering, why are you in the mission simulator, Jack? What are you doing? Well... I got three full episodes of this done, streamed, and uploaded. I was on a roll. And then I realized that open broadcaster software was not picking up the could you be any louder music? That'll do. Anyway, long story short, my recording and broadcasting software was not picking up the right audio channels. As such, the video was going through, the audio was not. I really need to get another monitor later. That way I can keep tabs on this sort of thing. But, it works now, or at least it should. Really big should. Find out in post. Anyway, <laughs> here's hoping this works, and we'll start up right where we left off. You all heard the scramble alarm, so we have to make this quick. Recon flights from the Sparrowhawk Squadron report the KIS to Flask has all but cleared his flight decks, and they will be here within the hour. Our recon patrols have already entered engagements with Kilrathi scouts. To protect the carrier, Colonel Walker is ordering a Magnum launch, all available fighters up. Ships from the other fighter squadrons are fanning out from the Hermes to form a main defensive perimeter. Others are going to intercept these Kilrathi destroyers, which are fast approaching missile launch range. We Bloodhounds are pulling point defense. Our job is simple. We are to stand guard over the Hermes and her escorts. We will coordinate our defense with the other squadrons and escorts of the battle group. Anything that gets past our main defense force, we will take out. No questions asked. Let's get to it. Oh boy, it's this one. Oh, here's hoping this goes well. Last time I recorded this, it went great, so... yeah. Bloodhound, you are cleared for launch. It's good to know our own personal guard dogs are on duty. Sweeney, if we're dogs, can I lay on your lap when this is all over? Hmm. Head in the game, mister. Sandman, are you receiving this laser link? I hear you, sir. I want you being the wing leader again. I saw you command during the raid. Now I want to see how you do it in the point defense situation. Major Hitchy, those destroyers are almost in missile range. Blow them out of my sky. Keep an eye on this one. Roger that, Colonel. All units, the enemy strike force is broken into several groups and are re-vectoring to hit us from different directions. Major Boss, the techs are preparing to bring the other half of your squadron up. They will be ready in a few minutes. This is Great White Squadron covering Gamma Quadrant. We've got enemy fighters and bombers moving into our area. We're breaking formation to engage. Those Archer Squadron covering Delta Quadrant. We have sighted hostiles. This is Munchar Leader in the Beta Quadrant. We are engaging the enemy. Burma Tiger Squadron, engaging enemy fighters in Alpha Quadrant. So, the battle to defend our carrier has begun. Again, I might add. Again? Yeah, we pulled point defense duty last week. That was our Rear Admiral Callahan got mortally wounded. Thanks to Grey Wolf. Hey pal, it wasn't my fault. I was kidding, Grey. Major Gonzalez really botched that last one. Paid for it with his life. Can it, you guys? We wait till any Kilrathi get past the perimeter. Till then, keep your mouth shut. Well, we shouldn't have to wait long. Search for bombers, bombers. Give me a bomber, damn it. Whoa! Right. Sorry, Hermes. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Tally ho, Major. Bombers ahoy. Attack my target. Go for the bombers first. Break and attack. <laughs> okay, that's the squadron of Dralthi right there. I should probably try to steer clear of them. You know, somewhat. As clear as I can steer, anyway. All 
All right, never mind. Pumping power to shields. Attack my target. Watch your target. Sorry about that. Oh God. Hull integrity twenty nine. What did I do? I don't want to die here. Go away. <laughs> Who is on me and why? Okay. Hey, you are way too close. Evening out systems. Load it. Okay, not the best start to a mission. Ratty, wave neutralized. Keep it up, bloodhounds. But I'm not dead yet. But no. <sighs> Oof, yeah, look at that arcing. I can't just go charging in there. If I do, I'm dead. <laughs> Bonus, I'm taking hits. Watch out. It's right behind you. You've got plot armor, phalanx, relax.
Ah. <sighs> One missile left, but nobody's died yet. That's surprising. <clears throat> this is great white leader. My exec has been shot down. Repeat, my exec has been shot down. I think he managed to eject. Prepare to send out SAR. What in blue blazes is going on over there, Jaws? We took down a couple of fighters, but no bomber kills. Headed in your direction. Over. <clears throat> Great. Take out his turrets. Bombers are starting their torpedo runs. Stop them. Attack my target. You won't be able to do a thing. I'm switching to your target. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot take an active role in this particular part of the fight. But after this wave, assuming we survive it, we should have, like, some actual fighter cover. Bollocks, I'm taking hits. Shut up, Alpha 2. You're fine. The question is, am I fine? Take fire. Spear, 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 spear. Intercept, intercept. Damn. Bloodhound, get it together. Hermes, where are the rest of my squad? On their way out now, Major. All right. Maybe now we can actually do some good. Attack my target. Bollocks, I'm taking hits. I'm switching to your target. Uh oh. Two spears are out. Damn it! <sighs> yeah. Well, since the last time I did this is no longer on YouTube, in summary, this is a more realistic way of how this act this mission actually goes. Oh. Are we done? Is there more? Beta quadrant secure. Yarathi team neutralized. Casualty report, Mud Shark leader. Three down. No ejects. War Jag, Ice Blade, and Foxtrot. Cover my target. Jaws here. All Kilrathia and our region are gone. Have a quadrant secure. Hermes, the Kilrathia are ripping us to pieces. We need assistance. Burma Tigers, come in. Burma Tigers, respond. Spider Wing, can anyone report of the Burma Tigers' status? We can't see them from here due to the jamming. This is Mud Shark 3. Four from the Burma's Tigers have been destroyed. The rest of the squadron's in trouble. Lieutenant, what about the bombers? They're still en route. We're picking up bombers and escorts. Attack my target! I'm switching to your target. I shall need your heart and spit it out! Damn. Okay, I literally cannot risk getting close at this ah, juncture. Losing the mission now would pretty much be the worst possible thing. However, we've got a literal swarm of friendly fighters out there, so... Yeah, the enemy bombers are dropping quick. Die, you freak. 
Yeah, we're good. Ah, keep an eye on this one. That's all the bombers. Hermes, Ninja here. We've nailed both destroyers before they could launch missiles. <sighs> we're getting reports from the other squadrons. All surviving Kilrathi are breaking off engagement and retreating. Great job, team. And the Hermes lives to see another day. Whew, we did it! Good work, Fighter Wing. I'm proud of you all. Bloodhounds, you have clearance to land. Mission complete. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad that worked. I'm not dying to engine wash less than 100 meters from the hangar deck. I think the deck under your feet is probably congratulations enough after a defense mission. But in addition, that was a job well done, people. We could have tightened it up in a few places, but overall, I'm very pleased. I know this isn't going to sit well with many of you who have fought hard for this piece of space, but Captain Moran has been ordered by HQ to take the battle group into Vega and abandon Brimstone for the time being. Ours is not the reason why. We're keeping all squadrons on alert. We have some travel ahead of us to the Vega jump point, and if I know the cats, they'll want to give us a noisy send-off. Dismissed. All right. So that was Brimstone 3. You know what? Hell with it. Let's wrap up Brimstone in a single run. Who's with me? You all are, because you're watching this video. Greetings, Sandman. I am Lieutenant Colonel Clear, Exor of the Hermes Fighter Wing, and Squadron Leader of the William Tells. Time is of the essence here, and I will make this fast. You have temporarily been assigned to us because we need a replacement pilot to fill in for one of our own in sickbay. Major Bars recommended you in light of your performance against the Pirate Frigate from your last assignment. Please, take a seat, and we'll begin the briefing. This morning, the other squadrons were able to beat back the Kilrathi attack on the Hermes. This strike bought enough time for half a dozen cruisers and destroyers to block the Vega jump point, which we are fast approaching. Intel believes this blockade is made up of the remainder of the Gap Thrak battle group we fought in Chengdu. Meanwhile, the newly arrived to past battle group is trailing us and is starting to regroup. We have no choice but to run the blockade into Vega. Colonel Walker is deploying the William Tells to try and soften up the escorts as much as possible before the Hermes battle group arrives. If the outright destruction of a cap ship seems unlikely, Go for a firepower kill. Target the cap ship's turrets if needed. Even better, try to take out the weapon's control system. Their accuracy will drop drastically. Because our longbows are the only jump-capable fighting spacecraft on the Hermes, we will have no fighter escort. We will stay in the system until the Hermes and her battle group jumps out. Only then we will retreat out of Brimstone. If we encounter hostile fighters, we're on our own. Major Ramius will be commanding Alpha Wing with Sandman and Snipes on his wing. I will command Bravo with Summoner and Pepsi. Good luck and good hunting. All right. Whew. After that last mission, I'm looking forward to this. William Tells, you are clear for launch. I'll keep the comm line open so you'll always be up to date. Good luck. Sweeney, what's the status of the Tupast battle group? We temporarily lost sensor contact due to ECM, but they were in hot pursuit. We're not going to have a lot of wiggle room on our timing. Thank you, Miss Sweeney. All bombers, bomb on me and set autopilot for jump point. Proceed to next waypoint. All right. <clears throat> this should be fun. Should be. I am a little rusty, so this might go badly. I hope not, though. Hello there, darlings.
This is the captain. Beginning last minute preparation to commence blockade run. Maintain fleet formation. Destroyers, form the vanguard. Cruisers, take flanking positions. Navigation, begin plot for jump sequence. Miss Sweeney, readiness report if you please. Captain, all batteries trained and charged for battle. Escorts report all batteries and missiles locked and loaded. We're waiting on your order to commence. The Intel Squadron, good luck and Godspeed. We'll see you on the other side of the jump point. Same goes for you, Skipper. Very well then. All ships, flank speed. Countdown beginning. Eight minutes to jump sequence. Well, we got to engage. Come on. Come on. Give the order clear. Okay, four lance torpedoes. Let's see, intended targets. I'll knock out. Th mm. Yeah, I'll knock out the weapon systems on the heavy cruiser. And then uh, maybe the light carrier and two of the destroyers, or maybe three of the destroyers. Don't know yet. Any case. Okay. Loki on your six. I noticed. Come on, come on. No, not you. You! You're my target. You are the one I want to murder. No, you don't. Come on, come on, give me a target. Hello. Holy mother of God, that's a lot of incoming fire. I am right in the middle of it. Come on, give me a lock. Give me a lock. Please, baby. Power away from guns to shields and engines. Recharge everything. Break, break. Just gotta get out of their turret range so I can recharge for a bit. There we go. <clears throat> Weapons. I'm hit. Resist. Captain, we're in range of their weapons. They're in range of ours. Ah. The batteries open fire. Cruisers open up a path. Okay, you ran into me with that one. That wasn't me. I not get a wait. You can fly like the ape that you are. Yeah, well. <sighs> you know what? I got a little trick for you. You forget I'm a bomber. Okay, I don't have any more time to play with you. I'm hit. Resist. Our destroyers are about to hit the jump point.
Okay, I doubt we can save the Valen Court, so I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, not worth the effort. Okay, there's no way I'm going to acquire a lock when my shield's this low. Oh shit, Fletcher! No, 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 no. This will work. I've got bogeys all over me, requesting assistance. Okay, we've got a lock. More torpedo, and I'm calling it. This is the stupidest plan I have ever had. This plan might work. Get close. Hi, asshole. Mm. All right, that's all the that's all the torpedoes. Captain, we're commencing final jump point approach. Cruiser, stay in formation. We go through the jump point together. Miss Sweeney, sound jump station's alarm. Story and Olympia seem to be holding their own. Though that heavy turret's getting a little too accurate for my liking. One more light destroyer down. And this one looks like it's gonna go down before they leave too. Good job. And the frothy two is the only thing left alive? Oh no, please don't leave. Kill it, kill it. All right, fine. <clears throat> I got bogies all over me, requesting assistance. 
Wait, it's down to 26% health. Heads up, I've got some new sensor contact. It looks like we've got several dozen Kilrathi fighters converging on our position. Fighters from the Tabwask battle group. All longboats, jump out now. All right, fine. Well, not as good as I would have hoped, but we made it out. <laughs> oh man, we're out. Whew. Part of me would have liked to have actually killed the heavy cruiser, but... Mm, I mean, I'll admit, if I had, probably would have gotten every ship out of there alright. But... Eh... Good enough. Welcome to the Vega system, William Tells. I'm sorry about Colonel Clyer and your squad mates. You are cleared to land. It's clear, Hermes. Mission complete. Clear, not Clyer. Have some respect for the dead. Whew. I'm sure Colonel Clear would be as proud of you as I am today. At the very least, we got out alive and took down a few capital ships doing so too, I might add. We did lose a destroyer, along with Colonel Clear and Lieutenants Pletcher and Baranek. But considering what was at stake, it could have been worse. Much worse. The Kolrathi haven't followed us through the jump point yet. I have been asked to take over the William Tells as acting CO. I would like to thank you personally, Sandman, for helping us out. Although Major Boss wants you back in his unit ASAP, I'd be happy to have you in my squadron again, anytime. Funeral arrangements for all lost today will be announced shortly. William Tells, dismissed. Oh, all right, well, that was a lot of fun. And in the next episode, we will begin the Vega campaign, so... Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.